This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org, an interactive online STEM learning platform that helps you build new skills and learn by doing. Learn more about my thoughts on Brilliant in a few moments. So I know some of you inevitably want to go to college for cybersecurity because maybe you're young, you want to socialize, your parents have the money, you have an affinity for student loans, or maybe you just have a love for college education. So this video is for you. And as a recent college graduate myself, who am I to tell you not to go to college for cybersecurity, even though I didn't go to college for cybersecurity. By the way, you can check out the card on the screen and the link in my description for my WG graduation and entire college experience. So in this video, I'll be breaking down why the schools are on the list, the curriculum and the cost of the program. All of that aside, let's get right into the video. Now, the number one college on this list is none other than Rochester Institute of Technology, also known as RIT, and their computing security degree. This school is located in the city of Rochester in New York, by no surprise. So my opinion on this college is based on my personal experience with people I have worked with or currently work with who are actually alumni of this amazing school. In one of my first cybersecurity roles a couple of years ago where I worked as a SUC analyst, I worked with a very brilliant cybersecurity analyst who was an RIT graduate and he was one of the brightest minds on our SOC team, even with his fairly limited cybersecurity experience. This might not be fully attributed to RIT, but I'm confident it definitely played a role in how sharp he was on the team. But fast forward to very recently in my current role at Datadog, I work with two RIT alumni, one being my director and the other person being a co-worker on another team. And I must say that they're very, very talented individuals. As a matter of fact, I recently interviewed my director on the channel and here's what he had to say about why RIT graduates eventually become successful in cybersecurity. Yeah, so I'll let you know a dirty secret about RIT. Um, the thing that produces the top talent is not necessarily the degree, but it's the situations, the social and networking situations that the, the degree puts you into. Mm. Um, there is a club at RIT called RIT Sec, and yeah. that club has like 200 active members all in undergrad, and they have four sub clubs in there. They do all kinds of stuff. That's where all the learning really happens. Mm. And like I said before, college, just like certs, it teaches you how to learn. Yeah, it's going to give you fundamentals. You may get into some advanced topics, especially if you go for a grad degree. But these undergrads are coming in, they're getting structure. And then they're like, well, I learned about this in class. Let me go tinker with this with a bunch of my classmates mm. who also learned about this in this club. And they spend hours and hours and hours working on it. Then they're just like, well, I think let's just do a CTF now. And now they're doing CTFs. Let's do a security competition. They're doing security competitions. So like, College is just the baseline. It's yeah. that social, it's that networking, it's the it's the project based work that you're doing is kind of what really catapults you into everything else that like makes you really successful in a, in a security career. For more details, be sure to check out the full video using the card on the screen or the link in the description. Beyond that, they have an amazing cybersecurity club called RIT Set, and I'm a huge fan of the work that they do there. I definitely recommend checking it out on their YouTube channel, which will be linked in the description below. There's so much practicality baked into this program for cybersecurity, and I personally think that a college that incorporates this level of hands-on experience into their program is inevitably setting up their graduates for success. Going into a few details about this program's curriculum, you'd be expected to take first-year general ed classes like Calculus 1 and 2, Discrete Math, and an intro to cybersecurity course. And as you advance into your second and third year, you take classes like reverse engineering fundamentals, principles of web application security, and an introduction to cryptography. Another amazing thing is that in your second and third year, you're required to take a corporative education class, which essentially means an internship or a co-op. Now, this is a brilliant graduation requirement that puts responsibility on the students to get internships and start building experience, and better yet, earn college credit while doing it. Now, let's go over the cost of RIT. Money, money, money. <laughs> so for a whooping estimated sum of $75,390 per year for around 12 to 18 credit hours, you'll be able to get this quality education. And I personally think this is a bit on the pricey side, but with options like financial aid, the potential return on investment might be worth it. That's left for you to decide. More information on this RIT program will be linked in the description. Below. Next, a word from the sponsor of today's video. Being a recent college graduate and an avid struggler in math, I know how limited college classes could be in terms of providing help and fully understanding concepts in subjects like math, data, and computer science, which is where today's sponsor, Brilliant.org, comes in. Whatever level you're at, Brilliant will help you ramp up fast and master the skills that you need. I've personally been focusing on understanding probability and statistics as it relates more to data science and my role as a detection engineer. However, with thousands of other lessons ranging from 
foundational and advanced math to AI and computer science, you can always learn new skills or upgrade your existing skills from anywhere, anytime, whether that be on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. Brilliant also makes learning more like a game with fun features that let you challenge yourself and compete with others. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, be sure to visit brilliant.org slash daycyberwalks or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. The second college on this list is none other than the Sands Technology Institute Bachelors of Applied Cybersecurity Program. If you've been in the cybersecurity industry for any amount of time, you've probably heard of Sands and their courses and their certifications and how expensive they are. However, I do find the bachelors in applied cybersecurity for SANS to be very, very reasonable. First and foremost, it's reputable. Having anything SANS on your resume is sure to open doors for you. Secondly, they require you actually come in with 70 credits from any accredited community college or four-year college so you can earn your degree by completing only 50 credits at SANS. So this takes about two years and over the course of this program you earn nine GX certifications and are required to do one internship, all for a total cost of 39,000 US dollars. Now, this is a fraction of most other degrees without the same level of prestige or value. For some, this is just the cost of one semester. You get quality education from a prestigious institution with great instructors, come out with the most sought after cybersecurity certifications, get an internship and a degree all in one. So you see where I'm going with this? If you're going to do college and spend a lot of money on it, then at least do it wisely. And I think Sands Institute of Technology would be a wise financial investment if you do decide to go to college route. Sands Institute of Technology is also an NSA Center of Academic Excellence in Cyber Defense, whatever that means. More information on this Sands program will be linked in the description below. Now, the final college on this list is, of course, Harvard. Nah, I'm just kidding. The final college on this list is WGU for sure. Do you really think I was going to do this video without giving a shout out to the Night Owls? Come on now, we're not doing that. WGU is the single most affordable, reasonable, and time efficient college that exists out there, at least in my opinion, and many others. As a WGU graduate myself, I can confidently tell you that if you're able to make it through any of WGU's IT programs, you're basically on top of it. The program is self-paced, fully online, and reasonably rigorous. You can check out the card on the screen or the link in the description for my full playlist covering various WGU classes, my experience in each term I spent, my overall review of the program, and of course, my graduation vlog in New Orleans. Speaking of cost, efficiency, and your return on investment, I also made a video breaking down how I spent only $10,000 on my entire college education. Amounted to one year, I spent $3,195. Less than three years in college, already having a full-time, well-paying cybersecurity job, before the end of sophomore year and graduating college before 21. If that's not efficiency, I don't know what is. The link to that video will be in the card on the screen and in the description below. And since I've already made several videos about WGU and college in general, I won't be going too deep into it, but I'll tell you that I'm simply a living testament of why WGU is a great school. Overall, college is only one of many paths into cybersecurity, and there's absolutely nothing wrong in investing in a college education. But before throwing thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars into a college education, be sure to evaluate it properly, be confident in that program, and be confident that the program is worth what you're paying for. But we are cybersecurity programs that are extremely new and try to attract students with a ton of buzzwords. Vet the school, vet the program, Vet the professors too. Just think about if you were going to buy a car worth $100,000. Would you just wake up one morning, walk into a random place, put all that money down for it, or would you actually research the car, make sure you're buying it from a reputable dealer, and you're getting it at a good cost? Well, think of college the exact same way, and I assure you, you will make a sound decision if you choose to go down the college route. Leave a comment down below about your personal college experience and if you think any of these colleges should actually be in the top three cybersecurity colleges. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.